Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for this edition of working through a quiz together. Uh, number one, oh, I should explain here, uh, these numbers are on the uh, A version of the test and these letter or these numbers in red are the uh, correlating numbers on the B version of the quiz. So if you have the B version, if I'm doing number one right now, you would turn to number five. All right, so we start uh, pretty basic. We're just going to distribute this five. Just remember that when we distribute a, a positive to a negative, we get a negative, so we should get negative 15x plus 40. Okay, now we uh, step it up a notch. We have a, a negative there, so we're going to distribute a negative along with the seven. So negative seven times three is negative 21, negative times negative. It's going to be positive 42x. Probably the most common mistake there was making a negative. So we have 42x minus, uh, just making sure there, negative uh, 17. Okay, so 42x minus 17. Uh, here, um, I don't think I saw much of this. A common mistake, though, uh, is to do 6 minus 3 first. But a lot of you uh, sidestepped that and realize we're distributing this negative 3. Just remember it's a negative 3. So when you distribute a negative 3 to a negative 5, we have a positive 15x. And a negative 3 times a negative 7 is a positive 21. So 21 plus 6 is 27 x plus 27. Okay, next we're distributing a 4. 4 times 5x is 20x. 4 times negative 11, negative 44. 20x minus 7x is 13x. So 13x minus 44. Okay, distributing uh, to three terms inside the parentheses now. So we just distribute to all three of them. 8 times 7x squared, 56x squared, plus 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, positive times a negative is going to be negative 40x minus 10x. Now be careful here. I saw a lot of negative 30x's, but let's take a look at this. Negative 40x, we can think of it as being, say, right there. Okay, it's like this. We, we can visualize this by thinking of negative 40x as being to the left negative 40x's. And then if we're going to subtract 10x, we're going to move to the left, subtract 10x. That puts us back here at negative 50x. So we have 56x squared minus 50x plus 32. Okay, next page. Number six on the A test, uh, the A quiz, and uh, number 11 on the B. This one gave people, uh, probably the most people, trouble. Um, the most common thing I saw was to distribute this five in some way, whether you treat it as a positive five or a negative five. Or, but here's the thing. Here's what I like to think of. Let's read it out loud. If I were to distribute a five, it would have to look something like this, right? It would read something like, if it, it were, if it were to speak to you and tell you what it's saying, it would say five times, we could say quantity, three x plus two. That's what it would say. If it had vocal cords and could speak, it would say five times three x plus two. Here, if you read this out loud, it says, 5 minus, we can say quantity, 3x plus 2. Right? 5 minus, not 5 times, 5 minus. So 5 is not multiplied by the parentheses, so you would not distribute it. Distribution is how we multiply something by parentheses. Okay? Uh, it might help just to simply say you can put a one there. Remember, if there's not a number there, we can just put a one there. It's understood that there's a one there. Just like x is understood to be one x. Uh, negative five really means negative one times five. Okay, or at least we can think of it that way. So here we have five minus a one times three x plus two. We're going to distribute 
a negative 1. 5 minus 3x minus 2. So we have negative 3x and 5 minus 2 is 3, so 5 at, negative 3x plus 3. Here we're just looking for the same kinds of things to collect it together and add them together into one group. So we have 17x squared minus 8x squared, that's 9x squared. Here I have 12x minus 4x, that's 12x. Or sorry, that's uh, 8x, 12x, 8x. And 15 plus 8, that's 23. Okay, here we're going to distribute an x this time. So we should get some x squareds and some x's to some higher powers. Right, 3x times 5x. Let me just do that off to the side here. 3x times 5x. That's 3 times x times 5 times x. Right, that's what 3x means. It means 3 times x. And we can rearrange this in any order we want. That's called the commutative property of multiplication. So 3 times 5 times x times x. So we have 15x squared. x times x is the definition of x squared. So 15x squared. 3x times 4 is 12x minus 7x. 15x squared plus 5x. Just looks more like an x. Okay, next. Number 9. Distributing a 4x into these parentheses. Okay, we get 4x times 8x is 32x squared. 4x times negative 9 is negative 36x. Uh, plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 12. 32x squared plus 5x squared is 37x squared. Negative 36x minus 7x is negative 43x. And then 12. Here we have to distribute a negative 4x, and here we would distribute a 12, so we have two different distributions. Uh, here we get a negative times a negative is a positive 24x squared. Negative 4x times 4 is negative 16x. 12 times 3x is 36x. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24 plus 13x. Uh, 24x squared. Uh, negative 16x plus 36x, that's going to be 20x plus 13x is 33x minus 24. Okay, here, this uh, can be a little time consuming, but uh, you want to show a good amount of work if for no other reason than uh, I give you some extra credit, not extra credit, partial credit. Uh, if you show your work and it can see that you did a lot of stuff right, but then you made this little mistake here or there, okay? Uh, so let's show our work. Negative 2 times negative 3. Uh, we're going to square that. Minus 5 times negative 3 minus 1. Okay, so here we're going to square a negative number. We're going to square negative 9. Sorry, square negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we have negative 2 times 9. Uh, negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18, plus 15, minus 1. Remember that negative times negative is positive 15. Uh, 15 minus 18 is negative 3, minus 1 is negative 4. All right, so I'm going to continue to work the rest of these out, uh, which may be a little too exciting for some of you, so you might want to kind of fast forward and watch me do this a little more quickly. Uh, let's see, minus 5 times negative 1, minus 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, times negative 2 is negative 2, negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, minus 1, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, minus 1 is 2. Okay. Uh, 0, 0 is easy, 0 squared is 0 times negative 2 is 0, minus 5 times 0 is 0, the only thing left is negative 1. Okay. Hardly merits a new color, but there it is. Uh, 2, so negative 2 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2. So now this will be a negative because negative 5 times a positive will be a negative. But this is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Minus 10, minus 1. Negative 18, minus 1, negative 19. 
last for this one, 4, negative 2 times 4 squared, minus 5 times 4, minus 1. 4 squared is 16, minus uh, is uh, 16 times negative 2 is negative 32, minus 20, minus 1. So that's negative 52, negative 53. So with that, I mean, make, make sure you're keeping straight the positives and negatives. I think that is uh, what tripped most people up. If they had trouble with it, it was, it was the positives and negatives. Um, all right, next problem. I complete the table for the function. So we have a different function, <coughs> different numbers. Here we go. I got 2x cubed. So you're going to go 2 times negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 6 and negative 2 cubed that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 let's look at that over here negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times negative 2 is back to negative negative 8 2 times negative 8 is negative 16 Negative 2 squared, that's going to be a positive 4, times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, and plus 6. Uh, negative 16, uh, oh, 10 and 6, they add together to 16. Minus 16 is 0, so negative 12. Like when that kind of thing happens. To negative 1 now, 2 times negative 1 cubed, minus 3 times negative 1 squared, minus 5 times negative 1. 6, negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 squared is going to be positive 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, positive 6. Uh, negative 5, positive 5, that's 0, so we have 6. Let's get rid of all that. Um, 0, that was easy. 0 is just 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6. So we get 6 again. Uh, 1, 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 6. So we just get 2 minus 3 minus 5 plus 6. Uh, so let's see, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Minus 5 is negative 6, plus 6 is 0. Last one, 2 times 2 squared, minus 3 times 2 squared. I'm oh, sorry, this is cubed here, cubed. Uh, minus 5 times 2, plus 6. So 2 cubed is 8, times 2 is 16. 2 squared is 4, times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus 6. Uh, let's see, 16 minus 12 is 4. 4 minus 10 is negative 6, plus 6 is 0. Uh, for the following function, plot 5 points uh, of the graph of f. Okay, So you pick it. You pick the 5 points. Um, so how do we find a point? We can plug in any x we want, and we get out the in this case, the, the f, I guess I should have changed this to the f axis, the f value. Uh, we plot that point, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I want you to do that five times. So uh, let's start easy, zero. Plug zero in there, we get negative five. One, two, three, four, five, zero, negative five. Okay. Um, let's move to, maybe we'll do like one and two, negative one and negative two, see how that works out. Uh, so. 2 times 1 squared, minus 3 times 1, minus 5. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Here we have negative 3, negative 5. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, negative 5, negative 6. 1, negative 6. Okay. Let's go to 2. 2 times 2 squared, minus 3 times 2, minus 5. That's 4 times 8 is, or 5 times 2 is 8, minus 6, minus 5. 3 by 6 is 2, minus 5 is negative 3, so 2, negative 3. Then I'll jump back here to negative 1 and negative 2. Um, 
2 times negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 minus 5. 2 times negative 1 squared is uh, 2. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 minus 5. So we have 0. And we do negative 2, and that'll be our last one for this one. 2 times negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 minus 5. Uh, negative 2 squared is going to be 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 times negative 2, positive 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So negative 2, 9. 2, 9. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 2, 9. And those five pit points fit on the graph, so there we go. Uh, if your points didn't fit on the graph, then I put a little note that says you should have picked one that does fit. Uh, not meaning that you picked incorrectly, but once you found out that it doesn't fit, pick another number uh, and find a point that does fit. Okay. Um, all right, on to this one. We're going to fi plot five points, and uh, let's start with zero. Simple, negative 7, right? 0 plus 0 plus 0, minus 7. So negative 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. 0, negative 7. Uh, next, let's try 1 and 2. Negative 1 and negative 2, so that works out. 2 times 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1 minus 7. So just get 2 plus 2 minus 3 minus 7. Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1, minus 7 is negative 6. So 1, negative 6, that'll be right there. 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 7. 2 times, uh, I can do this on here, it's 2 times 8. Right? 2 cubed is 8 times 2 uh, is 16. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, minus 7. 16 minus 6 is 10, plus 8 is 18, minus 7 is 11. So 2, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, right there. All right, got up there really quickly. It went from negative 6 all the way up to 11 in the space of 1. So growing really quickly. Let's try negative 1. Negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 minus 7. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. This will be positive 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 minus 7. So we have negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So negative 1, negative 4. Right there. Last one, and this whole quiz will be finished. 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 2 times negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 minus 7. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 minus 7. Negative 6 plus 6 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. Okay, so negative 2, negative 9, that's 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right there. There you go, 5 points on that graph. Okay, and just a quick little bonus. Remember, as we start to look at these graphs more and more in the future, remember that the graph itself is made of all the points that you could possibly plot. We plotted 5, um, and all the rest of it, as we, if we were to connect this with some kind of a curve, that curve would be our guess, our guess at where all of the rest of the points would be, right? And so if I were to guess at where the points would be between negative 1 and negative 2, at negative 2, I have a point at negative 9, and at negative 1, I have a point at negative 4. So I would bet you that there'd be a bunch of points, right, one at but there'd be one at negative 8 at some point, then negative, uh, negative 7, then negative 6, then negative 5, and then all to negative 4. And I would bet you that I would have some points that go and 
get towards negative 7. I would guess that they drop below negative 7 at some point and then come up to negative 6. And then the, they go really like they just, it's like really steep getting up to this 11 because it's got to get up to 11 really quickly. Right? And then I bet that it just keeps on going, but how, what do I know? Maybe it comes back down, right? Now that's, that's the study of algebra. That's where we figure out what does it really do? Does it go down like that? Or is there some way that we can be sure that it has to go off this direction? And I would bet you, my guess would be that we would see points. If I kept plugging in uh, negative three, I bet it's somewhere down in the negative, I don't know, what is that? So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I bet it's negative 17 or something. I bet it's way down there. And then I bet it just keeps going. So if I were to plot all these points, it would look like this nice, smooth curve here. Which, of course, is not what I asked you to do. I just asked you to plot points. So if you plotted the points, did great. Um, but it's a, it's a prelude to uh, graphing these graphs, drawing them, and, and connecting those, those points in a way that we can be sure of. Um, that does it for me. Thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.